Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can create a function block in the software. So let's go to the software. So in the previous video we saw how we can create a function, okay? So the functions you can see is just functions similar to a function like the add, okay? or or the medicals um let's see deep or the one for conversion similar to to real okay so this is are the functions or we can also have for example move there's another function okay so these are functions created by the system by the system and the previous video is showing how to create this one. This is fine, spray them, okay. But sometimes we just need to add, for example, no status of previous scan, okay, or have multiple outputs. So if we want to use, for example, timers or rising edge or a different function block with an instance, then our solution will be to use a function block rather than a function. So let me just delete all this than before. I'm going to delete the previous view function and I'm going to create a new one. So now we're going to create a function block. So add object here in view. This is just the basic for the function blocks. Okay. So here you have us with to use multiple things that I'm going to talk about at the moment okay we are just going to use the basic how to create a basic function block so fb is going to be um, motor control motor control then i'm going to use oh no, nah. function block there we go at the beginning now we don't have anything okay so let's add a few things so i'm going to add um start i x underscore start you should start with the i for input and then the other things i x stop and then we're going to add for example a timer the time so it's going to be uh i time uh delay okay this is going to be uh time and then i'm going to add the output the run volume okay as soon as you create all this it's going to be like a local variable okay you should have over here define the scope it's going to be input 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 and then you have output okay it's one way to do it okay so then you just start uh, plugging everything here so i'm going to add a uh, start and then i'm going to add a timer the on timer Mm -hmm. Here's going to be instance Dion. Yes, it's going to be internal variable. Okay, here I'm going to use the delay. Here I'm going to use the output of this one. Dot oh. dot u and here is going to be the i x stop my, my keyboard is not helping me today okay and we can have for example an auxiliar here for x outs 
it's gonna be boolean and i'm just thinking class over here okay so here what i'm going to do is to add uh this and trying to do something easy then the output similar to the other one but we have added the delay okay because we're going to do this cyclically or whatever we want so we have already this and i believe it's going to work so now in the POU you can also in case you want to go further okay Instead of having, for example, a uh, machine that you have multiple characteristics of your work, okay, you can probably add a structure, DUT, so it's going to be configuration, I don't know, structure mod configuration for the mod. I'm just thinking of that. Structure, okay. So are you going to put. Um, Velocity or set point, no ACC, okay, for uh, acceleration, I deck for this acceleration, um, I max bell, max velocity. I'm no, just thinking aloud. So as soon as you finish this, I believe this is comma, comma, and comma. I need to double check that out. Don't remember. Uh, let's see. Mm. Let's try with this. Let's see what happened. Okay. So now what you want is okay, I have created my structure and I'm going to use that structure here on my thing so it's going to be ist for structure uh config and here the structure that the type is going to be st motor config it's going to be input okay so now you have this one as an input so imagine that you need to make a calculation inside i don't know let's just put a move Come on. Move. And here we just need to use this one. IST dot config dot and then you should have the different parameters there. And then if you forgot about I don't know. No. X reset for reset. Bull there you can have for example something like this here the same the structure name but dot reset i usually work on this so i create my own structure for for the motor or for the things one for configuration one for indication another one for commands and then i work through that though during the software this is just one thing you can do but I need to show you input and output, and then you can use a structure. Okay. And there is another one in a, in out, in and out output, this one. In out, uh, in out, that basically it can be used at the bottom uh, left on the block to assign, I don't know, a variable that's going to be read and write on the block. But anyway, let's just continue on this. So we have created our function block. Then we just need to add it here, create an instance, gonna be motor one. Yep. Control C, we can add motor two. Okay, just create an instance. So if we play with it, okay. Yes, I was going to simulate this. 
it just bear with me a second it tries to connect to nothing because it's power off yep online simulation okay yep there we're going to show you i believe in the newer version the Bible start are internals okay i also show on the instance so we need to do something extra there okay so now i'm connected to it uh this period is not called period there we go there we go i thought it was called in the previous program i didn't load it so here we have the configuration so here you can see they have all the internal variables ideally i want to I don't want to show them what is inside, so I try to hide it. And there is some kind of uh, pragma thing that you can do in order to avoid showing that. So in this case, I'm going to set that now after uh, four seconds, then turn on this. So I'm going to turn this one on. So you can see there are different logic. Uh, So here I'm going to add a different timer. I don't know. Two seconds just to show you that the output will not turn on. Before and this one is running. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it off. There we go. This one will not run. I should probably add uh execute or something there just to avoid a few things. You can get a feedback from the output this one is running or not and then you turn on a fail so there's a few multiple things this one's going to turn on much faster one two oh, there we go okay so th these are the things that you can probably add over here um yeah basically you just need to find okay i'm going to do a function block just to do multiple things or have the code that's going to be reused multiple times. Um, then what I'm going to uh, show you here on the attributes, you just need to use the program in order to this one to not be shown. Okay. So if I know wrong, okay. Uh, so here we have all these pragmas. I uh, higher locals. This one, I or used high or locals in the top. So I'm going to use this one in the top to hide all local variables. So we can go to here to the text view and assign that attribute. Okay, you can see there is no show here, but it's here. Now I'm going to connect and hopefully we shouldn't be able to see all the local variables that we have inside the, log, the function block. Okay. Here, yeah. you see, so it's a little bit more clear and uh, probably the best because if you're going to share this with someone else, then they shouldn't see that. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's something missing here for the uh, you have the property you have possibility to select a bitmap to a, and then it will probably show here depending on the configuration you have the software but basically the first thing that you need is to define okay i have something that is going to be reusable or there is something that you want to block on the logic okay so nobody can see it you just block it and you can probably create a function uh, library and put that function block there okay uh, or I would probably do that. Okay, there is no need to have a library in order to create your own function block, but I would probably advise to create your own library to have all the different function blocks um, just to protect your uh, your code. Uh, but this is how we can create some function blocks. Very simple, very easy this way. The next one we probably use the function block that we have created into a visualization. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.